hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is jess this is the start of reading vlog <laughs> of a reading vlog i have filmed so many but they most of them don't see the light i don't know why <laughs> i either like forget midway or i just don't upload them so hopefully this one will see the light of day so today is sunday may may 23rd i think it's the 20 i think it's the 23rd <laughs> So we're going into the last week of May and I'm in the middle of like eight books. I'm in the middle of so many books right now. I don't even know where my Kindle is. I finished Evicted, which was a nonfiction about landlords and um, tenants and like that in America. It was focused in Milwaukee, but it was one of the most heartbreaking stories I have ever read. And I feel like it's making me kind of slumpy. Like I want to read, but, and I have been reading. I just haven't finished anything. So I'm, currently in i'm reading arusha on the end of time by roshan shashi um listening to that on audio um the trouble with hating you or dating you the trouble with hating you or dating you by sanji patel i think i'm listening to that one then on my kindle i am reading or i have started the bone maker by sarah beth durst this book i can't think of the name of that's a thriller that i started weeks ago and i put down grotesque can't think of who the author is in the middle of that. Also, y'all can't even remember. I'm just in the middle of a bunch of things and I'm not thinking that I can finish all of them. I mean, I'm in various stages of, of where I am in the books. Um, but I want to at least finish, I'll say three. I would like to finish The Trouble With Dating You or Hating You, whichever it's called. I would like to finish Arusha on End of Time and I need to finish. Wait, I think I have. Oh, then I also have like the roommate something by Talia Hibbert. And then I have this other like bakery romance. And I did buy the one by Talia Hibbert because it was like 99 cents. But the bakery romance, the bow maker by Sarah Beth Durst, Aru Shaw, The Trouble with Hating You, those are all library books. So I need to get to them. Anyway, all this to say, I'm going to try <laughs> to film and finish and upload a reading vlog. There's no theme, it's just books I'm trying to finish before the end of May and before they're due back to the library. I have no idea which ones I'll finish, but I just wanna tell you, I'm about to get dressed to film Tuesday's tea video, which I'm not looking forward to doing. Oh my God. And then somebody wants to buddy read. I really gotta get it together. Really gotta get it together. And then I have these other books that I pulled out to do what actual, I was like, I wanna do a reading vlog for these two books. They're books that I started that, um. I put down for some reason like I was enjoying them and I just stopped reading them but I need to finish all these books I'm in the middle of and then all of the library holds that come in for like the next I need to read books that I own like I'm reading notebooks that I physically own <sighs> help me Jesus anyway I'm rambling so I'm going to film my tea video and then I'm going to read and let you know what I'll be reading I probably will pick up or probably will get back with the trouble with dating you or hating you I can't remember which one it is I'll probably start with that one first because the audio, I feel like I'm like 60% through it. So I could actually finish it today, but I also do need to edit my video today, but I probably can finish it today, like play The Sims and listen to it and probably can finish it. And then that'll be one book complete. That would be very nice. So I don't know how long this re reading vlog will go through. Maybe just the whole week and then I'll upload it next week, I guess. <laughs> I'm terrible at this, but I need to go film. And I have just been like mentally overwhelmed with just like the state of the world, social media, just like my anxiety is really bad right now. And so I'm trying, starting today to make a conscious effort of just stepping back a little bit on social media, um, just to give myself time to read and do other things and just maybe lessen the noise in my head so hopefully that okay i'm gonna get dressed uh by get dressed i mean probably put a bra on and have i filmed in this shirt this week i don't know probably a sweatshirt <laughs> and film because you know i'm so glamorous for the camera but uh yeah hopefully you see this reading vlog okay bye so i filmed I filmed my video, but it's like, I don't know. I might have to refilm it because our internet went out. It's not coming back on no matter how much we restarted. 
of course we can't get in touch with anybody until tomorrow and the last time this happened they couldn't come out till the next day so i'm not even sure if i'm going to be able to upload this video by tuesday um and i don't know how good it is because i had limited resources since i filmed on my phone it also has convinced me that i need to finally bite the bullet and invest in a camera because I just need to go ahead and do it, invest back in my channel, because when times like this happens, it's really a pain in the butt. Um, but anyway, I, in that video, it's uh, also a sponsored video. And so it's by Boksu, which is like this Japanese snack company. And look, these snacks are good as fuck. <laughs> I am eating. I'm a fan. Um, so now, freezing in here so now i'm gonna eat my snacks and i'm gonna play the sims and listen to i didn't look up the title is it the trouble of hating you or the trouble of dating you wow it's one of those and hopefully i can finish that and then check in mm. okay this video isn't sponsored by them but i'll just check them out <laughs> I would not mind if Japan was our next duty station. You know? Okay, so same spot. I'm here. I'm back. My Sims re redecorating their house. I'm almost finished with the trouble with hating you. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. My skin looks terrible. So I took a break, had lunch. So I'm almost finished. My issue is that I started off really positive and I was really loving it. And then um the heroine has just been like she is one of those my past trauma makes me unlovable and it just keeps going and i wish she would just have already shared what it was that happened to her and she finally did but not the full story because it involves someone they both know who's prominent in their community and i'm like i wish you would just tell them I wish you would just tell him. And I know this is going to be a big com the conflict at the end. And she's going to be like, why didn't you tell me that? And she's going to be like, I didn't, I didn't want to scare you away. So I'm annoyed at that. But I'm almost finished. So I'm just going to play the Sims and eat my lemon Oreos. Mm. <laughs> While I finish up this book. And then I don't know what I would start next. Our internet is still out. So I really can just read and sim anyway. So I just finished The Trouble With Hating You. And it was cute. I really liked the ending. The It did like the big thing, like her trauma was kind of like the end conflict, but it didn't play out exactly the way I thought it would. So I liked that. Um, and like, I just like how it ended. It was really sweet. There were some big professions um, between the two of them and I really like that. So this one was essentially, they're both like Indian American, I believe they live in Texas. And uh, so her, so the main character, I already forgot her name. Wow. <laughs> the main character um, was abused as a, when she was like 15. And her dad didn't believe her and basically sided with her abuser and kind of they kept it under wraps. Um, and so she's older now, really successful, but she's very anti like the traditional way. She doesn't want to get married. She doesn't want to get married. She, you know, she dates, she has sex. Um, she lives alone. Uh, which are all oh my god my mouth which are all very unpopular things to do in their culture and the and the and the hero jay is um really successful lawyer and he um he has a brother his mother and his father has died and so he comes into the story because where she works at like this biological company is going through all these like lawsuits and he's there as a lawyer trying to save the firm before they meet each other at work though her parents invite her over and she thinks it's just like dinner at her parents but it's them trying to set her up with someone and it's him and she's very much like no i do not want to be set up so she like runs out and he's very much like what this is wild like no one ever just runs out and then they meet the next day at work and she's like are you fucking kidding me and so it was kind of like a hate to love you and i really was enjoying it in the beginning but then she like i said her trauma has made her 
very mm, defensive against other people especially men and she just dates casually and has fun and doesn't really look for relationships and she thinks people are out you know to to harm her essentially she doesn't want to let anyone get close and i understood that it just kept going for a while even after jay was showing how much he cared for her how he didn't judge her for her past and all these things that he literally was showing not just telling her like he was being such a good guy she just kept pushing him off and i was just getting frustrated like girl just let him in but i did really love the ending um the middle part i was like eh because I just wanted her to like let her walls down so I think I would go to 3.5 like I did enjoy it um I didn't love it like I really did like Jay I didn't love her I feel like my skin looks really terrible in this lighting so I finished that and I don't know what I'm gonna read next I need to finish Arusha in the end of time I'm not enjoying that one as much as I read City of the Plague God which was another book under their Rick Riordan Presents imprint and that's the same with Ari Shaw is under the same imprint mm, and I feel like it's because like obviously they're both middle grade I know that but in other middle grades that I've loved and in the other Rick Riordan middle grade they were a little older and I don't know these two in Ari Shaw there's like two main girls are like very very young and they just like one lies all the time and another one's just always like doubting every single thing she does i don't know what's bothering me but i think i'm like halfway through and so i feel like i should finish like there's elements i like of it like the mythology and i really loved in the beginning because there was a museum setting which i am really loving learning that i love that as a setting but sometimes when they just start get start they start talking i'm like oh my gosh and there's a lot of pop culture references which usually i only see in like contemporaries and obviously when it's like a modern day fantasy but that's set in our world it makes sense but i feel like there's been a lot and i'm i'm like i don't i don't like pop culture references like that so i think that's the only other audio i have right now so either I finish that and continue simming or I get off the sims and I read something on my Kindle. I'll have to check back in. It's bath time. Nigel does not love bath time, but he's dirty and itchy. So we're <laughs> washing him and I'm starting the Aru Shaw or not starting, but continuing the Aru Shaw audiobook and we'll see where i get it's like 5 something p.m so i don't know if i'll finish it today but first i gotta get through washing this dirty baby and we'll see where we go from there so here's me post bath i am always sopping wet and this one is always exhausted as if he did the work i'm washing him but he does just act a fool and so i think he tires himself out because he's always like this after a bath <laughs> so i don't know i don't know if arusha is not for me or it's just not the time so i'm just gonna i'm not gonna hard dnf it i'm just gonna stop it for now because i don't know why i'm forcing my way through from not enjoying it um but those are the only two audiobooks that i have so after i get him dried and everything and um put down for a nappy poo i'm gonna see what i'm feeling on my kindle and then i'll let y'all know look at this baby look at him you sleepy bubbles? He's sleepy. What up? It's later, same day, still Sunday. What time is it? Ate something, had dinner, did dishes. It's nine? Damn, okay. It's nine something. And as you saw, Bebe is comfortably asleep. So I decided to read a romance. Um, I went on Overdrive and saw which book was due back first. And that was how I decided what I'm going to read first. And I'm in the mood for a romance, so it's perfect. So this one is called Too Good, wait, Too Sweet to Be Good by K.M. Jackson. So <laughs> bakery romance. Although so far the main character it's her sister and her aunt who are the bakers and she is down south from New York City where she was trying to become an actress so I don't know how much baking is going to be a part of this I hope a lot because 
Y'all should know I love bakery romances, but I'm only 8% in because I was reading earlier and I might have fallen asleep. Not because it was boring, but because I was comfortable in bed. So now my Kindle is at 15%, yikes. So I would like to get to like 20, 25% tonight before I go to sleep. That's the goal. We'll see if we get there. something maybe yeah I think it's like 12:42, and I reached 22% I ended up joining Brie and Ashley's reading sprints and so um <laughs> I really only did like a 30 minute reading sprint and then there was conversation and I was in the chat but then I did read some more so I did get to 22% which I'm happy with I just have Nigel hair everywhere so I'm gonna go upstairs brush my teeth go to bed if I go to bed, I mean get on Twitter before I go to sleep. Ooh, I need Botox. Um, so 22% into too good to be true, too sweet to be good. It'll be here. And I really like it so far. It's definitely going to be like a, a hate to love romance. So the heroine, Alex or Drea, um, is from, like, she's from the South, from Georgia, but she's been living in New York trying to make it as an actress, and she came home to help family. So her aunt runs this bakery in town, and her cousin or her sister is wanting to be a baker also, so she works there, and so she's just helping out. She really can't bake, but she's helping out and helped re, like, redesign it, redecorate the store, so it's, like, more updated. And there is an older lady in town who's, like, 78, 80, a recent widow, and um she has a grandson who is running the family business but he's in Atlanta and they're in this little town called Sugar Lake and so he wants to their family business is like in properties and stuff and they have like this old theater that's in town and he wants to sell it and the grandma's like no we're not selling it and grandma is talking with Alex or Drea to talk about redesigning it and so he drives to Sugar Lake to try to convince his grandmother to sell because he's trying to sell it to this big corporation. And he goes to the bakery in town and Alex is the one opening the store. And she like opens it like three minutes late. And so he's mad and they have like a really like bickery, bickeringing. Wow. Their first interaction, they're like bickering at each other. And he obviously doesn't know who she is, doesn't know that she's related to the owner. And he's very much like, I know the owner and I'm going to tell her about you. And then when he goes to his grandma's, is telling, she's telling him all, she's telling him all about her plans to renovate the theater. And he's like, no, I want to sell it. And she's like saying, look at these plans. My Alex helped me. He's thinking Alex is a dude. And he's like, who is this dude trying to take my grandma for her money? And so they're supposed to meet at a theater um, or meet at the theater to go over the plans. And so this will be the first. So they already met that morning at the coffee at the bakery. So they're going to meet again, but they haven't met yet. That'll be the next chapter, but that's how it started off. And I've been, I'm enjoying it. I love the, uh, just, just some of the Southern, you can just tell the, the Southern people are written well. And I love, um, I think her name is Mrs. Betty and just some of the things she says and how she like speaks to her grandson just really makes me think of like my mama, my aunties, my grandma. So it's just making me feel cozy and talking about sweet tea and pe and just pecan pie and just all these things. And I'm just like, oh, the South, the South. Um, so yeah only 22%. I'm going to go to bed now and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. The way I am too lazy to hold my phone. So good morning. It is Monday. It's almost 9 a.m. and I'm just waiting a few more minutes so I can call the internet people because our internet is still not working. Nigel, do you want to tell them hi? Look, tell them hi. Look, this is such a grump. So yeah, i feeling incredibly lazy. We booked a trip 
last minute for this weekend while Italy is yellow because we haven't been able to go anywhere. And so I'm already anxious about it because I haven't been on a plane in over a year. And I just get anxious before I travel anyway. And it's so close. Like I'm not usually this uh, spontaneous person. Like I like to plan things in advance. I'm already anxious. So today I'm just like, just gonna chill. Um, hopefully, I doubt they're gonna be able to get out today to fix the internet the last time this happened. They were, out, were able to make it out the next day, but um, so I'm definitely not gonna have a tea video up tomorrow. I can, I have something else filmed that if my internet gets back up, then I can upload it and it's a lot less work to like caption and get ready or whatever. So that might be up on Tuesday, but I don't know, it depends. But anyway, I'm gonna keep reading. I may fall asleep, I don't know. And um, sorry, my hair is itchy. And uh, check in later. We're gonna see how long this works. We were balanced on my paper towels. Okay, so I'm like 37% in. I'm still really liking it. I would be further in, honestly, if I didn't just keep putting the candle down and take a nap. And honestly, it's not because it's boring. It's just because I want to take a nap. <laughs> I'm making myself a chicken sandwich for lunch, but all I have are burger buns, so we're going to make it work. I feel like I'm missing... Because we're, we're, we're going between POV... Oh, I have a bra on. Can you tell? Sorry. So I feel like I'm missing something with the characters. Like, I... We switch between their POVs of uh, the main dude, Kellen, is it Kellen? And the woman, Drea. And I don't feel like I know them well enough yet. And I like her from the little I know, but I do not like him. Cause he's like, this is a tiny little town called Sugar Lake and he's very much like better than it. He moved to Atlanta. He wants to get his grandmother out of here. But then he also kind of had this entitlement to like, he doesn't come there often. But when he it had not, but in the book he's come back there and he's like at the local bakery and is like, who are these new people? And I'm like, you don't have the, you can't, you don't have the right to have that entitlement when you don't even live there and you don't like to come back there. So I don't know, hopefully as it goes on, I'll get to know him a little better, well, both of them. So that I can feel more invested in them. Cause right now I don't really care if they get together because I don't really like him. And their story is actually more centered. Okay, let me stop making noise, okay. So I thought this was more a bakery romance and it is part of the story because the Drea's aunt owns a bakery that she works at currently, but she's not a baker. She was wanting to be like an actress, an entertainer in New York, but came home to help out. Um, and so now her and Kellen are taking on this restoration project for his grandmother that he doesn't want to do. He wants his grandmother to sell and she loves designing things. So she's excited to help. So I feel like it's going to be focused more on like renovation restoration, which I don't mind. I just thought it was going to be around the bakery and the bakery still is like pivotal to it, but you know, it's not the entire thing. So anyway, I'm going to make my lunch and then go back to reading. They called me and they're like, so many people's internet is out and so they don't have time to come into everyone's house so they're just gonna drop a router outside. I'm like, all right, we'll see how that goes. So hopefully I'll have internet later today. If not, then they have to make an appointment to come out tomorrow. And to think I used to complain about Comcast. Oh well, such is life. All right, I'm gonna eat. That's a pretty cute looking sandwich, if I do say so myself. Some salt and vinegar chips and a crystal light. Nom nom. Hello, it's 8, 12 p.m. And I am about to finish up making dinner. I have potatoes in the oven. I am in 70, 67, 67% through. And here's my thing. I'm not really that invested in the romance between them because they're still not together at this point. They're still like faking it and um, well, like towards each other, like inside they're like realizing that they have feelings for the other person, but they still haven't admitted those feelings. They're still like bickering and getting on each other's nerves. I'm way more invested in like the family story because his grandmother, her husband um, recently died and they own this old theater in the town. And so she wants to restore it. And so her grandson is, is it Kellen? I keep forgetting his name. Her grandson is Kellen. He lives in Atlanta, but he's here in Sweet Lake, 
um, trying to convince his grandmother to sell the theater. And then Drea is um, here in Sweet Lake from New York, kind of in between, figuring out what she wants to do. And so she's helping the grandmother, Miss Betty, with designing the renovation. And so they have to work together even though they got off on the wrong foot and they still aren't getting along. And so I love Miss Betty so much. And I just love the conversations between Drea and her sister Liv with her aunt who owns the bakery, um, between Kellen and his grandmother. I'm more invested in those parts of the story than the romance because I still don't feel like both feel like either of the main love interest i know them that well so i'm not invested in their story but like the rest of the story i'm enjoying but not their romance which is interesting but anyway i'm gonna make dinner nigel tried to eat a rock so love that don't love that and i'm hoping i can finish tonight i wonder if somebody's got some reading spreads going on but hopefully after dinner i can uh finish it up and that'll be another book finished for this vlog who am i <laughs> So last night, I literally had 54 minutes left in that book, and I, and I fell asleep, <laughs> and I woke up, and it was like 1 a.m., so I, we just came upstairs to bed, so I'm obviously going to finish it today, but I have to go get, I have to get up and get ready to go to the gym, um, and then I'll finish it later today, and then I gotta look and see what book is due back next, because I'll be reading that one, I think it's a thriller. But we'll see. Anyway, hello. So pardon my look, because <laughs> I just went to the store after the gym. But I did it. I finally did it. I bought a camera and I looked online and they price matched, so I saved $50, which is great because this memory card was pretty expensive. So, oh my God, I was saying, oh my God, I finally did it. And then it cut me off, but yay, oh my God, now I have to learn how to use it. But I gotta go in the grocery store and get some stuff and then go home and shower because I'm sweaty. But oh my God, big purchases stressed me out, but I did it. I did it. Oh, not my Kindle, not my Kindle. Whenever I try to read, it's just in my space. I wasn't right here. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Sorry I'm all jacked up, but I'm on my couch. <laughs> and I just finished Too Sweet to Be Good. I can't remember the title of anything to save my, save my life. What is it? What's it called, Nigel? Too Sweet to Be Good by K.M. Jackson which was the small town romance that I've been reading. And I thought I had, it said I had like 58 minutes left, but there was like a teaser chapter from the first book. And also there were recipes in the back. So it actually was only like 20 minutes. And so I'm giving it three stars because I went into it for a romance and I was not invested in the romance whatsoever. The rest of the story I really did like. How did you like the book? Oh, I guess he was bored. So like I've explained before, this book takes place in, a, in Georgia in this town called Sweet Lake. It's a small town and we have our main characters, Kellen and Drea. And then there's also a third character, Mrs. Betty. 
So Mrs. Betty is older. She is the grandmother of Kellen. Her husband recently passed away and they own property, including this old theater in Sweet Lake. Kellen lives in Atlanta um, and runs like the offices of the building, of the business. And he wants to sell the theater called Red Heart to like this investment company that wants to buy up the theater and a bunch of land in this small town and you know, do what they do, uh, gent gentrify it, condos and all that dumb shit. And then Drea, I think she's from Sweet Lake, but her family, or at least they moved to New York and that's where her and her sister are living. Her sister is a baker, but she was trying to become an actor. But then their aunt who has a bakery in Sweet Lake hurt herself and they both went down to Sweet Lake to help her run the bakery. And Drea also has like an interest in like interior design so she helped they helped run the bakery while she was recovering and also redecorated and so they're still there although their aunt has recovered okay so that's the setup i loved the every other every other story like i liked the little bit we got between drea and her sister Liv. i would have liked more and i think the first book is about Liv's uh, romance and at first I thought it was a bakery romance. And while Drea does work in the bakery, that's not the focus, it's more about the renovation of this theater. And so I loved Miss Betty and her relationship with Kellen, um, her grandson, her relationship with Drea, who she hired to design um, the theater. And so the family aspects and the part about the renovation, um, because they go along with this renovation, even though he wants to sell it. And so that was more interesting there. And the person who wants to buy it keeps calling him and he keeps telling them like, yeah, the deal is still on, but he's kind of lying to his grandmother and going along with her renovation idea. The romance I just wasn't invested in. I feel like I didn't know Drea or Kellen that well. And they, like their banter and stuff was fun, but I still wasn't like, oh my God, I can't wait for them to get, to get together. And although this book, like it ends, like the book ends on Kindle at like 88%, they get together at like 87%. Like they don't, like, yeah, they get together. He like declares his love for her, even though I don't feel like they know each other that well, besides like the little bits of each other they showed one another. And so I just, I just wasn't believing it. And so that was disappointing. But the rest of it, I love the small town vibe. I love the bakery scenes. I love the family interactions and the whole story with the renovation thing. But the actual romance, I wasn't sold on. So it was a three star. I mean, it was enjoyable. It was quick and um, I'm glad I read it. I would consider reading the first book. Um, later on because that that sister actually is a baker so that probably be more up my alley but now i need to check my phone um my library app and see what book is due back next because that's what i'm gonna read and then that'll probably be the last one for this vlog i don't know if i mentioned this but we booked a trip uh italy has been red and orange and orange and red and red and orange for forever which has meant we can't couldn't do many things at all and it recently last week went yellow which means we can travel to other countries that are also yellow and so we are flying to milan on friday since it's a long weekend for andrew flying to milan on friday running a car and driving to switzerland so i'm really excited also really anxious because i haven't been on a plane in over a year and flying stresses me out luckily it's like an hour and 45 minute flight but i'm still anxious because i'm always anxious for horror travel yes 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 no not my sunscreen but now let me go look and see what i'm gonna read next i need to get up and film but i'm very comfortable so i don't know so let's see what book we have next i don't know if this happens with anyone else but when i have Oh my god, that goes back in seven days? Shoot. <laughs> when I return a book on the app, it doesn't return on my Kindle. And so like I have to return it on the app and on my Kindle. It's very annoying. But anyway, I'm going to return this one since I just finished it. And looks like I thought I was going to read Grotesque next. But it looks like I need to read The Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Durst. Because that goes back in seven days. And so, hmm. This one's almost 500 pages. I've only read like a chapter, so I need to get down to business because I need to finish this by Thursday. So today is Tuesday, 
All right, The Bone Maker is our next book. So it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday night. Oh my God. So I get so anxious before travel. And since I haven't gone anywhere off of this island in like almost a year and a half, I'm like super anxious. And every day that's ticking down closer to Friday, I'm just like, oh my God. My hair looks a mess because this is early stages so you're just gonna have to ignore me so earlier i was thinking about going live like doing a, a live that was just vibes you know and now i'm like do i want to do that tonight or should i do it tomorrow because i did post a video today i don't know but i'm not reading the bone maker is that what it's called by sarah beth durst <laughs> I've been struggling getting into it, but it's because it's fantasy. And I have not been in a fantasy mood and I tried it and I don't think it's time. So I had a thriller by Tiffany D. Jackson um, from the library also called Monday's Not Coming and I've always heard great things about it. So I started that instead and I am 13% in. I've only read a little bit earlier. So I'm thinking I should read tonight. I'm going to have to film tomorrow if I can figure out how to work my camera <laughs> so I'm maybe if I could get to like 30% tonight what time is it it's like 10 something I have no clock it's like 10 something so if I could get to like 30% that would be ideal these chapters are pretty quick so I'm like do I do that oh, I need some lip chat lord I'm like do I do that or do I go live and just shoot the shit with my pals? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll check back in later. Good morning. It is Wednesday. <coughs> my potatoes got in here a little smoky. So I fell asleep last night, but I did get to 30%. And I was like, I'm just going to close my eyes. Fell asleep. So I got to 30% and Monday is not coming. And I like it. I just have no idea where it's going. Like I have no idea what happened to the friend because the premise of Monday's Not Coming is there is, is her name Claudia? And her best friend is named Monday. And <clears throat> she's been away for the summer. Claudia has been away for the summer. Um, they, she always has to go down south and spend time with her grandmother, but they usually mail letters back and forth to each other and Monday didn't reply to any. So she comes back, she's asking her mom, like, have you heard from Monday? Like, I didn't get any letters. Like, oh, something probably happened. Everyone's very casual about it. <coughs> Um, and gets ready for the first day of school. Andrew woke me up with a coffee this morning. I'm like, oh, you do love me. Monday's not there. She keeps asking people, no one's seeming to take it serious but her. And so that's the premise. I have no idea what could have happened to her. I don't know. It's really fast paced. I really like it. The chapters are short. So I do have to film today. And I have to figure out how to use my new camera. So I don't know. I probably won't be able to read till later. But so far, so good. We finished filming. I took Nigel outside. And he didn't want to come inside. But then, once I come inside, this is what he does. Look at him. He's looking inside for me. <laughs> hey, boo-boo. Do you want to come inside? Okay. <laughs> Is it hot out there? Is it hot out there? <laughs> so, like I said, I filmed and I'm going to take a break and read a little bit. Maybe if I can get to 50% and then I'm going to edit my video. Hopefully I won't take a nap. I got to 50% and Monday's not coming. I got, uh, I reached 50% a lot sooner than I thought I would. And so I can't say much because like, it, the book jumps from like, a couple years before when Monday and Claudia, you know, their friendship. And then it goes to before, like before they find Monday. And then there's the after, after they find Monday, but you don't know if they found her alive, if they found her dead, like what's happening. You're still not getting that. And so, I don't know, it's really fast paced and really interesting. Um, also really sad because I'm just feeling so bad for Claudia because like she doesn't really have any other friends. This is her best friend. Um, 
who also like helped her in school and now she's alone and she's going through something with like a learning disability and so i'm just like but i love the familial relationship she's the only child but both her mom and dad are in the story which i love because that is not always in stories um i just don't know what happened on monday she keeps like trying to go to monday's house and her mom is being shady and her siblings are like well she's at our aunt's house she's at our dad's house and nobody there's like no consensus she's asking people at the school nobody's there's no general consensus people are saying that yeah they've seen monday and then she's like no i went to their house and oh my god i'm so frustrated for her but hopefully editing doesn't take me super long today t videos always take longer to edit just like you know screenshots and all of that stuff uh so hopefully that doesn't take more than a couple of hours and i can finish this book tonight and then i'll probably wrap up this vlog we'll see y'all i really don't know what to do i recorded my video for the second time on my camera i thought i had it all figured out it looks great hour of footage no sound So instead of finishing my book like I planned, I went live and made a margarita. I'm tipsy. Had a lot of fun, but I'm going to bed now. So I'll finish my book tomorrow. Y'all, <laughs> I don't drink often. And I made myself like a two shot margarita. I should have done one. Ooh, I'm feeling it. So I need to drink a lot of water. I need some Excedrin and I need some food. <laughs> But I'm going to eat and then I'm going to try to finish my day's not coming before I do stuff to get ready for our trip. We leave tomorrow afternoon, so I need to do some laundry and pack and make sure I have Nigel's stuff together because he's um, going to be with a sitter. But yeah, right now it's like 830 something. I feel I'm feeling it. I'm old. Y'all, we are struggling. Let me turn this down so what is this it's a struggle right now okay i really i don't know what to tell you okay this is just what's going on it bees like that it's gonna be like that and you're just gonna have to deal but anyway i realized that i never finished or wrapped up the vlog and i didn't tell you my final feelings on monday's not coming even though i've already done my wrap up for may so you might have heard my thoughts there i don't know how much i elaborated anyway i loved the book it was really great. I mean, it was really heartbreaking, but it was really great. I think I gave it a 4.5. It was really heartbreaking. So I already told you the premise of the story. And basically, there's two young girls who are in eighth grade and they're like best friends. But Claudia comes back from her summer vacation where she goes to visit her grandmother. And her best friend Monday is, um, she hasn't heard from her all summer. She doesn't show up at school. And Claudia, of course, is asking everybody, anybody about her. Have they seen her? When's the last time they heard from her? And everyone doesn't take it seriously except Claudia. And as you go on, the story is told in like, a present, a past, and a past past. So it's very interesting and the chapters are really short. So it jumps back a lot, but it just kind of keeps the suspense and you keep wondering like, where is she? Um, people are telling her, you know, maybe she didn't know Monday as well as she thought she did. You know, adults are like, you know, sometimes people just, you know, basically ghost you. Um, they don't want to be your friend anymore. And she's like, no, she, I, I know her, she wouldn't do this to me. So she's just trying to figure out what happened on Monday. And it's just a really heartbreaking story once you, um, once you get to the end. I mean, the whole thing really. There's a major trigger warning for a lot of abuse uh child abuse domestic like just a lot of abuse and just so harmful and i know someone else i said that they didn't like the relationship that was between claudia and monday because claudia seemed really dependent on monday because she didn't really have any other friends but like i still understand that they're young um sometimes when you don't fit in and you finally find that one person and then that person disappears or you know cuts you off out of their life that's really hard in eighth grade what are they 11 12 13 but i really loved uh claudia's family like her mom and dad were really great um support to her i just love seeing parents in a story and they're really supportive to her but still drawing boundaries and lines like you're the child i'm the parent and also there was a teacher that i really liked who was uh really supportive and there for claudia um and it just it was just 
to me it was it was suspenseful it was thrilling like it was paced and written really well for that um especially with the timeline jumps how short the chapters were it really just like kind of keeps you wanting to turn the page and still it was a really compelling story and so it was really great if you can handle uh, stories about abuse and you know the loss of friendship which i feel like is not often taken as seriously as other relationships but friendships are really serious and losing that can really affect a person let alone a child you know so i really loved it i ended up I liked the trouble with hating you. Um, I liked the too sweet to be good or whatever, but those are three, three and a half star. But this one was definitely the best read of the vlog. And um, I definitely want to read Allegedly, I think, by Tiffany G. Jackson is an older one. And then she has a new one coming out that looks really good that I heard was like, get out maybe in a ghost story combined. I don't know, but I didn't love Grown as much as people did, but I really loved this one. So definitely want to read more of her work. But all in all, I finished those books and got them back to the library. I didn't finish some others and I had to re-request them for a later date, but it's fine. Um, so you're actually gonna see this reading vlog, how exciting. I have all these other plans. Like I have a reading vlog project that I started. So hopefully I can at least be getting out like one a month. Um, it, I'm glad that I'm finally getting this up and um editing it wasn't as bad as i was expecting but hopefully i won't look as terrible in the next one but actually i will so be prepared my hair is just always going to be over the place i probably won't have a bra on it's whatever it's real this is me at home so thank you so much if you watched this video give it a thumbs up subscribe check out my description i'll link the books that i mentioned in the video i always have links to things that are going on my social media ways to support my channel and I think that's it for me. So please stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreened, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.